Ladies and gentlemen, the award-winning five-star worldwide Christian radio talk show awarded by National Association of Broadcasters and a five-star awardee of Christian Music Parade, the arising Christian music artist, live from Radio Station World, here's the arising Christian radio host, Baby Siv.
Well, good evening, America. Good evening, United States. Good morning, Asia. Good morning, Africa. Good morning, Europe, in the middle uh, of the night. Good morning, Asia, Africa, Europe, and good evening, United States. Um, we're here again on Davis Worldwide Talk Show. Welcome. We are live here on the studio right now. And I believe I got somebody else on the air right now. Uh, I believe Evangelist Jacqueline. Are you on the air? Are Praise you in the God, air? sister. I'm Praise here. God. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I believe uh, there's one more on the air. If I'm not mistaken, he's probably our special guest for tonight. Um, is Reverend uh, Oren Spence are in the air, sir? Yes, ma'am. On the, oh, Please yes. Welcome. Welcome, yes. Before I introduce you, sir, um, yes, I, I just want looking at the the uh, the geography right now. The one that's listening right now, South Africa, North Africa, ten percent are listening. <laughs> India, Indonesia, and Saudi Arabia, five percent are listening. Okay, um, we have from Dubai, ten percent are listening. Singapore, Cambodia, Malaysia, 15% are listening. A lot of Asian people up here. Philippines, 20% are listening. Whoa. Liberia, 1%. Liberia, 1%. Germany, London, uh, 10% are listening. Germany and London. And you know what time is it? It's probably like 1 o'clock in the morning. Canada, 20% listening. Australia, 25% listeners. Australia, United States, 88 point, United States, 88, 88.9% listening. Zimbabwe, Cameroon, Pakistan, 10% are listening. Welcome to Baby Step System. So, uh, yes, uh, uh, today we have a very special guest, and uh, I, I, he's from um, a full gospel, a, a, uh, gospel fellowship. And um, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I, I don't know the the exact name of your church, sir. But yes, uh, here we go. He is from Full Gospel uh, uh, Ministry. When we say Full Gospel uh, Earth World, Full Gospel means it is the gospel of Jesus Christ. So we cannot yeah. make a mistake in here. So right now, here we go. Uh, let's welcome everyone, uh, Reverend Orange. Senior stands on the show. They just said, Well, the okay, sir. Yeah. Welcome, sir. Uh, we have the same last name, huh? We we have we have the same last name. I like that. Right. Yeah. Stance. Uh, do you know, do you actually know where this stance came from? What original state and what? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just connected with my husband, so I'm asking you. Maybe you know it. You know. Um. Yeah. Reverend, okay, okay. Yeah. Do you act, do you actually know where yeah. our huh? Go ahead, sir. Yeah, I'm I'm located in South Mississippi, about 50 miles from New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Is is it like a countryside or is it just next to yeah, town we, or anything? No, we're we are in the country. We're rural, real okay. rural out here. Where we're Okay. Okay. Yes. Hallelujah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Country rural okay. area. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so sir, where are, um, where is your church located, and what's the name of your church, so that uh, anyone can hear it? Name of the church is New Bethel Full Gospel Church. We preach the fullness of the gospel. We are located. Outside of a small town of Picayune, Mississippi, we're about 15 minutes or seven miles or so outside of Picayune. We're out in the middle of nowhere in the countryside, and oh, we're located. Okay. Uh, we're located. We're located right off of uh, Interstate 59, Exit 10. Go east seven and a half miles, and you'll be at the church, New Buffalo Full Gospel. Okay. I think one day I, I, I think 
I'm going to come and visit you. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to come and visit you. I'll so, take you, you know. sister. I know exactly where he's at. I'll take you. Oh, <laughs> really? Are you, are you, are you not far you're not far from here then? <laughs> no, no. When I used to stay in Alabama, it was only like a couple of hours, uh, like Mobile, yeah. Alabama, to where he's uh-huh. at. Yes, but now I'm in Georgia. But it's still nothing uh-huh. but a hop, skip, and a jump. Exit 10, I know exactly uh-huh. where he's at. How is it? Oh. Yes, yes. Okay. Praise God. He's, he's in a rural country yes. area, but we can find him. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be my tour guide. So, uh, uh, sir, I I noticed you have yeah. That's why you you have an accent uh, from um, Texas or something. Or I have accent. And you know what my accent is? I'm not really pure pure like English, but there there's sometimes some, something like accent is really is really really cool. I like it. It's it's really it's really cool. I like that. I like that accent. Thank you. So, um, okay. So we're gonna talk about Halloween because Halloween is coming. You know, uh, do you know exactly the meaning of Halloween? And uh, let me ask the evangelist Jacqueline first. What do you do during Halloween time? What do you, What do you do? Like you know, what What, when, what do I do? What, yes, Halloween? yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, what I normally do, uh, tradition, you know, uh, you. you Dress the kids up uh, back in those days. It's not safe these days, but back in those days when we knew our neighbors, you know, we used to dress them up and go trick or treat, you know, give them candy or treats. And, you know, uh, that's what I used to do then. But now I don't do it anymore. That's been years ago. So what I normally do is go to a church and, you know, let the kids uh, watch a movie or the church provide parents we bring snacks, Halloween candy or something. I normally do like organizational things now these days. Pretty much I don't know my neighbors. I don't go out now. <laughs> oh yeah. uh, I, I I see you sir um uh, Reverend Smith. Uh, I see you with a lot of uh, grandkids in on the picture. <laughs> yeah. So how many how many grandkids do you have actually? I have about I have about ten. But there's only ten? there's only a few in the picture. Yeah, at least you, that many. You have ten. <laughs> <laughs> praise God. Yeah. Oh, praise God! Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, they're blessings. So, um, I, 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 oh, yeah. I have somebody else on the air. Uh, who's on three one three? Who's on three one three? I have someone else on the air. Yeah, there is okay. somebody else on the air. Welcome okay. to Baby Step Show. Who's on three one three? Who's on the air right now? Speak up. Are you, are you on the air? Or you... Evangelist Dolores. Evangelist Dolores yes. is right here. Hallelujah. Praise God. Miss so, uh, in the house. <laughs> Reverend Nance, we have two evangelists in between of us, sir. And um, uh, they're here to, uh, to, uh, to, to be a part of this show. So today we're talking about yeah, Halloween. Too. Because so Halloween how is coming. Normally, we normally we normally don't celebrate Halloween itself, but yes, what we do is we take a different. Uh, we may go a week ahead of, or something of that nature, and we'll have what they call Fall Fest. We'll have a hay mm-hmm. ride. We'll uh-huh. do little things for the children, but normally we don't we don't celebrate Halloween itself. We try to stay away okay. from it if, if at all possible. Amen. I get, Amen. Another, I get another one from um, on the line, sir. One second. There's another one on the air coming in. Uh, I believe it's Hi. Sister Mary Lou. Sister Mary Lou, yes, welcome. I'm here. Good, evening. Good evening, everybody. Good Friday. Good evening. Good Friday. With us today, Sister Mary Lou, is Evangelist Jacqueline, Evangelist Dolores. Hello. And, and and our special guest is Reverend Aaron Stan Singer. We have this we have the same Hello. Yes, we, yeah. We we have the same last name, so I'm I'm so proud uh, that he's with us. We have the same last name. <laughs> yes. So he said that he, they normally don't celebrate 
tell him but, but before you go on with this topic, sir. Uh, I have some questions on the screen. World, sure. would you like me to? Would you like me to uh, uh, read them and we can interact mm -hmm. each other, or you wanna share something about Halloween sir, first? No, which one okay. would you like? Okay, yeah, okay. Ahead. So now, okay, I have one from uh, Brenda. Brenda in Kansas. Brenda, uh, hello, Kansas. Kansas. I don't know if you're Kansas City or Kansas. Brenda said, "What can we do as as Christians? We cannot stop this celebration. It's been a custom to America to se to celebrate, especially for kids. I don't think we can stop this kind of holidays for the kids." Okay. Um. Any interaction before? Yes. Before? Yeah. By, oh, by, yeah. I, I say by leading and guiding them. Uh, this is Evangelist Jacqueline. No uh -huh. offense yeah. for cutting anyone off. I uh -huh. say by leading and guiding them by the Holy Spirit and teaching them Bless what's you. acceptable and what's not yes. acceptable of the Lord, teaching them that this is not, you know, the traditional, the way they celebrate Halloween. It's evil. It's a lot of mm -hmm. evil. So, but mm -hmm. it's how you teach them, God says, and bring them up in which the way they should yeah. go. So if we yeah. teach them right and let them know, okay, this is a day that the, the world, your United States or whatever, celebrate uh, Halloween, but not doing the evil things, but we can celebrate it in a way where God can get the glory. You, you understand what I'm Amen. saying? In so many ways. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're, we're, we're going to uh, evangelist uh, Dolores, and then, uh, uh, what we're going to do with this question is we will answer each one, and the, and, and our our guest, which is Pastor Orange Spencer, will we'll follow up all our answers at the end. Okay, so uh, evangelist Dolores, what can you say about Brenda? What you, uh, Did you hear what Brenda, did I read it? Yes. Right? Did you hear what, uh, uh, yes. Evangelist uh, Dolores. Yeah, I Much think that, more. you know, we need to, if we teach the kids, the children, that, you know, she said that we can't work about the world. We got to be an example as Christmas show our children that that is not the way Christmas should live because that's a place of darkness. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to yeah. have to just stand on the wall with them. That's good. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I agree. That's, that yeah, is yeah. what I said, the way we teach them. Mm -hmm. teach them. Yeah. Amen. Sister Mary Lou, any interaction of Brenda yes. from Kansas? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to reread what she yes. said? Do you want me to yes. reread what she said? She said that we, what can we do as a Christian people here? We cannot stop the celebration. It's been a custom in America to celebrate, especially for the kids. I don't think we can stop this kind of holiday. Sister Mary Lou. Yes, of course. Um, a majority of people really. Um, are being deceived because um, as, as Christians, you know, okay, the origin of this Halloween comes from, uh, they say all hallows even means hallowed evening uh, in the 17th century, you know. And they're saying that they go from door to door um, at that time dressed up as saints and they mm -hmm. went from door to door doing trick or treating. But now it came to the point where it became a celebration of the devil because the kids are wearing uh, scary stuff when they can actually, uh, um, because we cannot stop them, what do we do about this, okay? Um, I try to prepare candies with pamphlets with Bible verses and pass them on to the children that are coming in. Um, and then I put some words like children, children. Okay. I am just giving an example. I give them mint, and I say children are meant to be close to God, and then I put a Bible verse. Amen. Amen. Okay. So that is the way of teaching them. That is the way of teaching what's acceptable. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Reverend, Reverend Spence, and, uh, okay, sir, uh, what, uh, an interaction to Brenda and all the, all the things that we said. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Everything that's been said is very good. We have a responsibility to keep. We have a responsibility to keep the integrity of gospel truth, especially to our congregations. But mm -hmm. we're living in a time when people are being bewitched, as they were in the book mm -hmm. of Galatians third chapter. I'm sure you're aware of it. I'm preaching to the choir now. But mm -hmm. nevertheless, a bewitching spirit 
Mm-hmm. And there's nothing in the world more than peer pressure. It's that peer pressure mm-hmm. to for the church Hallelujah. to be more worldly. Is it's everywhere, and we're all having mm-hmm. to deal with it. We're all having to fight against it. Uh, like I said, we don't. We normally do not celebrate Halloween, but we do mm-hmm. celebrate fall festival where we do things with our children. We got to do something with our youth, but we've. But we've got to realize we've got to keep the integrity of gospel truth. At least we also be bewitched by all the peer pressure that's in the world to be like the world, to operate like the world operates. The gospel is still the gospel. It's still the power of God and the salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. The prince of this world of the the of the power there don't want this. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But the devil is alive. You know, the truth ain't in him. <laughs> Come on, God. <laughs> They're dangerous God. now because uh, uh, Halloween is associated with uh, you know haunted houses and candy, but it's also linked to a number of risks for our children, including uh, pedestrian fatalities. You know. Uh, there's also theft and vandalism. All of them, they, 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 the, the powers of darkness are activated when uh, when the people that are deceived would cooperate with the powers of darkness. We're not supposed right. to cooperate with them. We're supposed yeah. to work Amen. against them be, because Christ Hallelujah. is alive. We're not here to celebrate death. Amen. Hallelujah, sis. Amen. Amen. That was good, sis. You're exactly right. That's good. Amen. Light has come into the world, but men love darkness rather than light. Look at how it's presented the children of having such a good time. That's the way sin is. It's pleasure Amen. Sin, but for a season. It will not lead people to Christ. It will not bring Amen. them out of darkness. It matter of Amen. fact it it promotes darkness and the things of darkness, even the cartoons and things of, of that nature, the hour we're living in, even shows and all kind of things on TV. The music is, is leading Amen. people down a wrong path. There is a way that Amen. seemeth right, but the end thereof is destruction. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 But it, the Lord. When we know better, but he said his people perish from lack of knowledge. And yes, therefore, yes, when we know yes. better, then therefore we'll do better. Praise God. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Amen, sis. There yes. is a way Amen. to see it. Has, it, it yes, it has to be rejected as a pagan holiday. Is, Hallelujah. You're right. Hallelujah. You're right. Hallelujah. Well, and then if you're gonna people, if you're I'm gonna, gonna, gonna participate gonna in it. Then you do yes. it the way that the Holy Spirit would lead and guide you. He, a good man steps his order. So if you're well, going to participate, will. like like uh, the pastor saying, down there in the country, the soft little small towns where we come from, we call it fall festivals. And we just yes. enjoy it with mm-hmm. the kids, with horses or the, the, the wagons and pumpkins yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But it's the way you do mm-hmm. things, you know. So just because we don't do it the world way, you know, no. so that's what I said about the Lord said, teach them in which the way they yes. should go. And so there's yes. a right way, regardless right. of who's doing wrong, you just do your part. <laughs> that's right. Hey, man, I, I used to close my lights. At, uh, I used to close my lights in my house during the uh, this time of the year. But then I realized if I closed all my lights, then I will be missing out on the children that will be knocking at my door. So I decided to hand out tracks together with yes if, yes and if i have to hand out fruits like oranges which is healthier than the sweets it will be better amen amen i touch and agree sis and i used to and my mom or grandparents used to pass the apples or the oranges which is healthy and better but because of these days we living in so they stopped really doing the, the fruits now because the evil demonic spirits putting razor blades in it or, or poison in, in a lot of the things, not only the apples. Oh, so that's yes. why oh, the yes. Lord say we must oh. watch as well as pray and teach our babies which is the way they should go in the name of Jesus. 
the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Yes, we pray, yes. That, we, pray that, we pray that God would give us all wisdom, knowledge, and understanding yes. how to deal with things of this nature because light, and I repeat myself, because light has come into this world. But when you begin to mix light with darkness, people stand in the shadows. They claim Amen. Christianity without living a Christian life. And that is sad in itself. It's so sad because this Amen. is so wonderful. This is wonderful. This is the greatest thing that ever happened to any of us. And to mix it, you got to be careful what you mix the gospel with. Hallelujah. The Bible said in one place, it says, the gospel being preached to them did not profit them anything being not being mixed with faith. And in other words, be careful what you mix this with. We Everybody means Amen. well. Everybody's trying to reach yeah. the world, and we're using all kind of schemes, and we're doing this, and we're doing that. But the preaching of the cross is going to reach the sinner. Always has, Hallelujah. always will be. It's not old school. It's the it is the straight and the narrow way. Hallelujah. And I understand. I understand. Yes. We want to do things with our youth. We want to do things with our youth. Is somebody calling me. <laughs> this this is not the only problem, but this is a problem we have in the church in the in the that we're living in. I understand people are trying to reach people and they're using everything that's available to them, but we've got to be careful to keep the integrity of the gospel. We've got to keep Amen. the integrity of the gospel. We cannot mix it with things that would would water it down, so to speak. Is that a good way to say it? I hope so. That's a that's a great way. Awesome. Well you gotta be careful. It is the yeah, power. This, this is the power of God. This is the power of God and the salvation ordained of God. It don't need help. But yeah, the right, hour yeah. we're living in, the hour we're living in, we're all the world spirit of the world is trying to to bewitch us, like it did in the book. Of this Galatians. person's voicemail sure. is disabled. You cannot leave a message. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, but. Um, but trying to keep the gospel, trying to keep the integrity of the gospel, to keep the focus on Jesus, came in the flesh, gave his life, shed his blood, uh, the remission of sins, for the remission of sins, born of the Spirit of God, and we're new creatures in Christ Jesus. And to mix and mingle with the world, I'll say it this way. Uh, this is the way I'll say it. it that is a no-no. That is something Amen. we should not be guilty of. But I understand and I know that some people are under a lot of pressure. Sir, sir, Father, right now, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I come against anything that would come against the Word of God. I come against anything. We stand. We take a stand right now. and We believe. We believe for the preaching of the Word of God. We believe for the truth of God's Word. Lead us, yes. guide us, bless us, encourage us, strengthen us, anoint us, and use us to speak the word of God in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Everyone say amen. 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 That's what happens when there's a traffic on the air. It's like uh, there are other shows yeah. that, that, that take in the air show. But we continue. Yeah. on, uh, on a, In Germany, Vladimir, his name is Vladimir, was a Halloween celebration when most Christians who think they they are religious and holy, but they are the one who are ugly, are hypocrites with the, uh, hypocrite behavior. The church people are hypocrites. <laughs> have have the children have fun with during Halloween. He's from Germany. So um, any interaction? Hello. Uh, can I say something? Can I say something? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. There's a difference between being sanctified and sophisticated. Uh, yes. People have come abandoned on. sanctification. Once you yes. come yes. to God, once He's washed you in the blood, and once you've been born of a holy, a holy spirit, once you've been born yes. of a holy spirit, begotten by a holy word, washed in holy blood, and born of a holy spirit, shouldn't we be holy? Shouldn't we be sanctified? Shouldn't we be set apart? Yes. For the use of God Almighty, 
to speak yes. his word, to love one another, forgive one another, but walk with God, continue in the righteousness of God, to continue in it. Hypocrisy, yes. when you take and mix sin and grace, the yes. end result is hypocrisy. God uh-huh. forbids yes. sin. God mm-hmm. forbids it. Amen. The Let world, me God. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I no, no, didn't no. Mean go to go take ahead. Up all the Pastor. I, I guess but, because because we were interrupted. I just want like everyone okay. uh, here, uh, Evangelist yeah. Loris, uh We, I am, I am not agreeing of celebration of Halloween. Most of us here on this show, we, we have this show because we want to explain to the whole world that Halloween is a celebration of demons. Yes. Am I right? right. Am I right? right? Amen. Okay, yes. Amen. So I'm, yes, yes. I'm trying to say mm-hmm. now that no one can stop showing us. We are trying to reveal to the world, to the people, that Halloween God, is not yes. from God. Yes. It is It is a celebration no. of the devil. Yes. Yes. The enemy. Yes. Amen. 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 Evangelist Dolores. Evangelist Lord, yes. are you here? Okay, say, say, say about it, Evangelist. What do you think? What What's in your mind? Say about the Halloween. What's in your mind? Each one of us, and then we go to Pastor uh, uh, our Pastor Sven. Bless you, God. Evangelist Lord. It's, 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 it's darkness. And what well, we can say, um, keep yeah. our key, you know, a lot of Christians, they fall into that trap with their children yeah. you know, uh, celebrating Halloween. And, and, um, they uh, think it's okay, but when they when you dress them up in those outfits and stuff, they become that person. And um, it's more when you go around um, ce- uh, celebrating Halloween, you, kids are saying trick and treat. It's nothing, no trick and treat about the devil sub- celebrating him. It's nothing. It's nothing about you know. It's nothing about that you know. And we can't have a witness if we teaching our kids that, you know, it's okay to dress up like a devil because, you know, what kind of witness those we have into our sin, you know, it's not before our kids, their servants. Bless you. Celebrate Halloween. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Um, um, Go ahead. Go ahead. um, Bless her. All right. Uh, This is Mary Lou. Yeah. So, you know, this, um, yeah, we we understand that this is a there's a lot of witch. You know, the act it activates the power of darkness during this time of the year. But there are alternatives um, on how to handle this. Like, for example, the the children can, can dress up with the Bible characters or Bible heroes. Yeah. Um, Amen. Carrying out the team, yeah, they can carry out the team with simple acting can be fun. An opportunity for teaching the values. Uh, children will yeah. always be attracted, you know, to costumes and treats, you know. But they're uh, finding positive ways to enjoy the pleasures. Hallelujah! It's a personal yes. challenge for us, Praise for us as yes. adults. Praise God! Praise God! Amen. Pastor Aaron, uh, uh, Pastor Ismael, I, I want to ask you, sir, uh, is that okay Good. to like? Like what, what Sister Marilou is saying that we could do yeah. the same, we could do that kind of stuff, uh, dress up costume, but like Bible characters and everything sure. on the same day of Halloween Day. Is that okay? Is that okay mm-hmm. for that? Sure, sure. As long as you, yeah. as long as you stay away from the occult, you, you don't give it place. And you, then, uh, you do not give this. You do not give this place. There's a lot of pressure on churches, especially mm-hmm. the denominational yeah. churches, where mm-hmm. where pastors are not free like they would if they had their own church or whatever, or in a uh, a church where truth is celebrated. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of pressure on people. A lot of people are using this this mm-hmm. celebration to bring yes, people to actually bring people into their church and to mm-hmm. and amen. Uh, amen. Now think about that. They're using a den- something that has nothing to do with mm-hmm. our Savior to try to bring people to church. Somehow, mm-hmm. this thing has got turned around, and we've got to get it back on track. 
Now we know mm-hmm. that we can't fix it. We know we can't fix it. We know it's going to mm-hmm. be here until Jesus comes. Mm-hmm. But we can take a stand. Mm-hmm. We can take a stand and not and not follow suit, not follow along with everybody else. Be separate. Amen. Be what God would have you to be. Amen. Set apart. Amen. Yes. Uh, Evangelist Jacqueline, what can you say? I touch and agree with like what the, both of them said, all of them, the pastors as well as uh evangelist uh Michigan doors whatever look Hello. you know my mom God rest my mother's soul she taught us the truth the way and the light the word of God yeah okay yeah. so at a young age and then she also used to always quote these words to me baby girl it's not what you do but how you do it that makes all the difference in the world and there is a difference yeah. between the two you must oh, yeah. know yeah. it's like the serenity prayer grant me the serenity Lord to be able to accept the things I cannot change. Yep. But if I'm afraid, give me courage to change the things that I know I can change with That's your true. help, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. So I said that to say, you know, it is what it is in this world we live in. But God say, be in the world, not of it. Not so, of it. Right. Mm-hmm. Amen. So, yeah. Yeah. so it's, it's a parent's good. choice. So when you know better or grandparents' choice like myself, when we know better, then therefore we will all do better. But if we doing what the Lord said to do, being obedient to the word of God, he said, bring up a child in which the way they should go. If they mm-hmm. go astray when you rooted and anchored, right. hey, they coming back That's home. Good. They coming back yeah. home. So yeah. I said yeah. that to say back to this. Yes, my mom got, look, we celebrate. She let us celebrate it, but my grandparents, but they taught us. Or just like he's saying down there in the country, when we're in the country. But you just don't participate. Look, like you said, sin yeah. and, and uh, uh, holiness don't mix. So you okay, man, man. Mind, God said be mindful. Yes. The Lord said be mindful. We need to be uh-huh. mindful in everything we say and do. So yeah, as long man. as everything we say and do and lining up with one accord with God, then we're safe. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. Amen. But it's yeah. a Amen. And it is what it is at the end of the day. Okay, and every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. So just mm-hmm. make sure what you're saying and doing is right. That's all I can okay. say to anybody, Lord, because yeah. you're going to be held accountable. Okay. Yeah. So, going back one of the kind of the of, of the audience, sir, uh, because he said that there are Christians or hypocrites. So uh, le- there are some um, others. I heard it in the past that when a church celebrating Halloween, the same Halloween. But they're not really celebrating Halloween because they just do costumes, just like Sister Mary Lou is saying. And 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 some of them would tell us that you're Christian, you're celebrating Halloween, and you would say no, we're we're doing some costume party at my church for kids or anything, and they still gonna say that, that's and still Halloween, that's still Halloween. They would say how how would you how would you answer that, sir? How would you uh able to answer that? Cause they say it's Halloween. Are you still celebrating it? So you still celebrate Halloween. <laughs> Is that for me? Question for yes. me? Okay. Yes. Well, what we do, what, what we do is we don't we we'll celebrate fall festival around mm-hmm. the fall of the year, and we don't we don't celebrate it on October thirty first or uh, whenever it's celebrated. I don't even. Amen. Huh? Amen. I like Amen. We do, we, do everything, yeah. we, do, we do everything we can to separate ourselves from it, uh-huh. but still uh-huh. do something for the youth of the church. Amen. We don't yes. associate. We don't associate with. It. We try not to associate ourselves with things of this world, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. at the same time, we want to we want to present ourselves to people with a, and we want to, want them to know that we have the love of God about us. We don't go around damning and condemning people, but uh-huh. we don't participate in such things. We do not participate in such things because we know we're new creatures. We have the knowledge Amen. of God. But we're not of this world, even though we're in the world. We're mm-hmm. not of this world. Amen. Amen. Okay. Okay. Let's so. See. Um, let me ask this, because uh, we are all ladies here. Uh, I think I know all of them have kids. You know, um, uh, this. Uh, let me ask this before I go to to this uh, question on the screen. Um, how how would you explain to your children or child that that insists? Okay, you don't you don't celebrate Halloween, 
and you you tell you tell to the child that you're not celebrating because we're Christian and that's that's the ego celebration. Right. But then when it, when but when the child insists and say that you're 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 out of a you're out of a you're out of a all uh what well, yeah outdated or something you're out of date uh, my friends go there i just want to go to my friends what's wrong with that how do you handle that kind of behavior let's start with it what child insists that he, he wanted to go there for fun but you say no they it, and then if you say no they you hurt their feelings Okay. This is Mary Lou. Okay, okay. My answer to that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rather than rather than se separate completely from the nice activities, we are going to explain clearly to these children we are not celebrating death because because mm -hmm. Satan is the author of death. We are celebrating mm -hmm. life. Amen. Okay. Amen. All right. Now. It hurts me, it hurts me as a mother and a grandmother to see fake cemeteries in front of the house. One day, I brought my grandson, uh, my grandson's friend to his home, and I saw um, a sepulcher in front of their house, and I jokingly asked my grandson's friend, is that your grandma's graveyard in front of your home? And he started to laugh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> And so, so that was an opportunity for me to share to my grandson's friends. I said, mm -hmm. "Well, you know, at this yeah. time I had a I had a gospel tract in my car, prepared to to distribute to all the high school students, and I give them treats uh, right there at the school. And I said, well, this is an opportunity for us as Christians to witness for Christ. Okay, Amen. so Amen. we need to also please." How do how do you deal with a spoiled brat child that insists to go go with his friends for trick or treating and and, and celebrate Halloween? How do you deal with uh, uh, Evangelist Dolores? Well, you know, you you give them a treat together with a trash treat and okay. trash. <laughs> what if she, what if she or he, what if she or or he uh, reject? You mean like you know? Because the, I I can see the generation now. The more you you correct them, the more they rebel. That's how they are right now. The more you correct them, the more they rebel, and they won't listen to you. Um. So um, what would you do? How do you how do you deal with this kind of of mentality of this generation. Uh, I, I, you, you, I, I love this. We, um, this is Mary Lou again. Right. We have uh -huh. our God gave, God gave us the wisdom and the creativity to right. make this a right. fun time for them to understand right. that we can yeah. dress like Queen Esther for the girls. Okay, mm -hmm. Queen Esther. All right. What is the story about Queen Esther? Well, you you want to dress up during this time of the year, or well, dress up according to the Bible heroes. Okay, yeah, because we are yeah. celebrating the life of Christ. Amen. Okay. Amen. Okay. Can I say something? Uh, yeah, yes, yes, Pastor. Hmm, go ahead. Can I let's say something? Uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I have a lot of confidence in young people when you sit down and reason with them like people. Yes. And, uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes sometimes you can sit down and talk to a child just like it's a grown person. Show yeah. Them mm -hmm. Right. Show them mm -hmm. respect and tell mm -hmm. them the truth about anything Hallelujah. and let them Amen. know that we're going to stand for the truth and, and, have com and let them know. Let them know. I have confidence in you that you can you can handle the truth. A lot of people have to uh, beat around the bush with them or do it this way, do it that way. They will mm -hmm. surprise you. They will mm -hmm. surprise you that they are able to receive the truth yes. if you tell them the truth about anything. And mm -hmm. you let them Amen. know this yes. is going to make a difference in your life. This will make you successful mm -hmm. as a Christian. This mm -hmm. will cause you to live a successful Christian. Amen. Amen. Because, I tell you know, Pastor, I see there are some families that the, the, their children or the, their child, they, is their boss. 
is, is, is their boss right now. They follow whatever they said, you know? And, and the parents become the, become the follower instead of them leading the children. The parents are yes. just like the, the children, they become their, their boss. They, yeah, I, I see a lot of them. Amen. And, Amen. I touch and, and agree, uh, sis. Yeah, there's they a lot of the children truth. that have no respect anymore, and they become like the boss in, well, in the to, house. Yeah. Believe it or mm-hmm. not, they, they become like a boss you in the house. Teach, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. This is oh, the best oh, that Jacqueline is speaking. Not cutting uh-huh. you off, sister. You know why that happens? Mm-hmm. Because Because God said, when you give your power... When you give your authority that God gave you away, whether you give it to your kids or any man or woman he created, then that is what that comes from. That is where it comes from. The the parents Mm -hmm. giving the kids their power, and the kids are controlling the parents in so many Mm -hmm. ways. It's sad, but it's true. So that's where they're messing up at. You don't give Mm -hmm. your power to nobody, and you use the authority that God gave you. And you let them yeah. know they're the child. You're the parent. <laughs> mm-hmm. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's how you solve that problem. And I touch and agree with what the pastor said. Yes. God rest my mother's soul. Talking to a young person, mm-hmm. more so yeah. than getting out the switch. The switch is mm-hmm. like, go get a breath. Talking to them, I touch and agree mm-hmm. with what he said. Because of the way my grandparents and, and my mom raised me mm-hmm. at a young age. They sent yes. me and my brothers mm-hmm. and siblings down, and they gave us the booty butt naked truth, which is God's <laughs> truth, the way and the light. They didn't show the coat or walk nothing down. You understand? <laughs> and then, like you said, they gave us faith that they had confidence in us to know that we would choose wisely because of the way uh-huh. they taught us. And praise mm-hmm. God that hey, it's how you do it makes all the difference in the world. Well, amen, well, amen, well, amen, amen, amen. So, yes. Yes. Let, me, let me add let me add something to that if you don't mind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, mm-hmm. Even even as a pastor, even as a pastor, you have to have confidence in the congregation that uh-huh. they can receive the word of God. There's a lot of people will not preach the word of God because they have uh-huh. no confidence in their congregation. They're afraid uh-huh. that the truth of God's word will offend people. Look, mm-hmm. treat Amen. them, treat, have some confidence in your congregation. Have yes, some confidence Lord. in your children. Have Put confidence in them. Let them know that you're trying to build them up to be a, a good adult. You want to see them successful yes. in life. I don't mean mm-hmm. to be Amen. a millionaire. I'm not trying yes. to promote yes. that. I'm but mad, I'm mad. Yes. I'm simply saying they're going to be safe. They're going to be okay. stable. They're going to have mm-hmm. confidence Amen. in themselves, and the confidence the in truth. Mm-hmm. And yeah, yeah you, you begin to you begin to share with them, and you begin uh-huh. to tell them about yes. uh, that you have confidence in them instead of yes, talking sir. down to them. Tell Amen. them they've got to grow up. They've got to grow into this knowledge, and that's the, that's the way I go about it. Even even in the congregation. Amen. I let the congregation know. I let the congregation know. I've got confidence in you that you can handle this. Now, most pastors don't. They don't have no confidence in their congregation. That's why mm-hmm. they. That's why they teach some of the things they teach yes. instead of just teaching the word of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, I, I get somebody on the other line. Um, I have yeah. somebody else on the other other air on air. Someone on yeah, the air yeah. right now on four oh four. Who's in four oh four? Someone on the air. Introduce yourself. You're on the air. Four oh four. Four oh four. Introduce yourself. Four oh four. You want to give me Mary Lou Arnold? Oh, you you Mary Lou okay. Arnold. I'm back. Okay, you come back. I'm back. Okay, My okay. other phone died. Okay, so so Pastor say so uh, because I see a lot of young kids that that that's listening that that's become their that's become the parent that's become the parent of, of the parent. I see a lot of it. You know? <laughs> yeah. and, and and some yeah. and some kids and some kids even even hurt them physically. Some slap the parents, you know. 
I, I see I see a lot of it. So that 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 and because when when that happens, like when they grow old or maybe like teenage teenage, they be, they it, do you think it's gonna be too late to correct these these things that's happening? Do you think it's gonna be too uh, uh Daniel Flores? Daniel Flores, you there? Um, yeah. Yes, I'm here. Could you say yeah. I, I said I said there are a lot of kids who are power empowering <laughs> empowering over the parents. So when they grow old or when they grow like in age, do you think it's too late to correct them being being a parent of the being a parent of parents? <laughs> How do I say that? <laughs> Sometimes I think it's too late. To Sometimes sometime I think it is too late to correct them because, you know, if you didn't instill in them when they was a young child growing up, they have already been set in their ways and they're going to do what they want to do. And once they get grown, it's the point that you, uh, mom and daddy, can't tell me what to do in it anymore because I'm grown and like mm. you 14, 15, you got away with stuff as a, as a kid being a spoiled brat and you continue to do that. So when you get 14, 15, you're going to really be, uh, don't have no respect for your parents and be out of order. That's how, and, who, that's and, how who, and who get the consequence? Uh, you suffer the consequence as a parent, right? You're going to suffer the consequence as a parent. Amen. Yes. 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 Uh, about you, uh, about you uh, Sister Mary Lou, are you there? Oh, I'm here. I'm here. Um, especially because you're breaking uh, up, you're breaking the, the up. Pool, the, the pool, the pool of the you are breaking is so up. Strong. Oh, okay. Um, you are you, am I breaking up? Can you hear? Yeah, me? you're breaking up. You're breaking up uh, up for me. You're breaking up. Uh, we got to you, Sister Daniel's Jacqueline. Okay. Yes. Yes, I'm here. I can hear you. Okay. Did you me. ever have any kind of situation in the family where? Uh, a child in your family. And I'm not talking about your own family only. That's probably connected to you, or you knew someone that has a child and and become like a parent to a parent to the parents. And yes. then when they grow old and they become teenager, they become disrespectful, and it's uh it's kind of too late to uh to to uh to, to fix their <laughs> behavior. How, how how did you ever have anything like that? I never did, thank God, because I, I brought mine up, uh, you know, and nobody's perfect, but I'm grateful. As all the school teachers say, Miss Simon, we wish all the kids was like this. So I'm grateful. I never had problems. My mom didn't have problems with me either because the teaching, it goes back to that teaching, grandparents and mama teaching. Right, uh, right. But I do know people like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Because yeah. of the fact that they did not discipline God says spare that rod than to spoil the uh-huh. child because anything spoil is no good. So, uh-huh. you know, uh, if they don't, like the sister Dolores said, handle it while they're young, you know, because uh-huh. once they get on up in the age, then it's harder for, you know, you know being. You can kind of bend them when they're little, you know, so it could get too far gone. And, uh-huh. and then, you know, you're going to have confusion. And confusion yeah. is not of God, so... You know, I, I would suggest to anybody by me being a parent and, and a grandparent and raise all the kids in the community. If you got mm-hmm. children, start as the Lord say, teaching them while they're young. You understand? Mm-hmm. And spare that rod mm-hmm. than to spoil yeah. that child. You understand? Amen. They will thank you later. They will thank you later. Amen. 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 Sister Marilyn, we go back to you. So you go back to you. Um, I have three. I have three grown children, and they all have wives that mm-hmm. uh, actually run their homes now uh-huh. so that's why it's so important to to marry godly women because then the the mother of these children that are married yeah, i have three boys mm-hmm. so, uh, so i have three boys that are mm-hmm. grown men they're adults so now their wives they, they have all children and um, they know that i stand firm uh, to my conviction um mm-hmm. so my advice to parents is to practice purity. Um, when there's purity, there's power. After the power comes the proclamation of the truth. So Amen. the proclamation of the truth, the proclamation of the truth cannot come behind purity. 
So the purity must be number one. Mm-hmm. Number two, that's the only time when we are pure can we be bold to our children, including ourselves, like the same goes to our own selves, be true. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. When we are in love, Hallelujah. When we are in love to God, we become bold. Amen? So Amen. we have nothing to be ashamed when we say lovingly to our children so that they can understand that we stand strong to our own spiritual convictions because we have the Holy Spirit living inside us. It's nothing Amen. to be uh, pointed about, nothing nothing that we can take for granted because the Holy Spirit Amen. is living in us. We have been given the wisdom. We cannot be offended yes, when, the, when the children treat us bad. We cannot be because Amen. we already took our offense. We took our offense. Amen. So we have the power. We have the authority yeah. to trample all the evil forces that come against us as parents. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. Uh, Pastor, uh, Pastor, I'm going to add something. Yes, yes. I want to add something. I have a um, yes. 10-year-old granddaughter had lived with me up until uh, yes. maybe June or July of this year. And her her mother is a non-believer. It's my uh, son's daughter. And my granddaughter was is very gifted. And they knew what she was the praying and stuff that I had her, do, you know, me and her was doing. And uh, they pulled her away from, from my house because, they, you know, the devil wasn't happy with what was happening. And she was, you know, well, she believed in praying, laying hands and all of that. And see, uh, that pulled her away because she was in a, in a, in a Christian home. They pulled her to a non-believer home. And I just want you all to ask her. I'm going to ask y'all, her name is Ashley. Call her name out in prayer for me, if you will. Because uh, Amen. Can, you know, tell her. It's, you know, it's like she's living two different lives. Oh, Amen. Just call, just call okay. her name, please. Her name. Yes, and pray for him. We will lift okay. Up in prayer. Uh, Amen. Pastor, Pastor, do we have any additional to what we said? Yes. Mm-hmm. The church. And I'm going to always have this perspective. I'm always going to come from this this perspective. Yes. The church is the greatest correctional facility on the face uh-huh. of the earth. Uh-huh. And when oh, yeah. people are born, they raise they they raise some other way. And I use the word raise. I'm I'm country, so anyway, if they're raised some other way, then it's not going to. It's not going to work for them. It is the greatest, greatest correctional uh-huh. facility on the face of the earth. But yes, that's is. plan A. Plan B is when they go to uh-huh. jail. And I've uh-huh. seen a lot of them right. come out of jail. I've seen a lot of people come out of jail. And they saw their need for God. And they would run uh-huh. to the altar. Because uh-huh. it's in the altar of prayer that change is made. It yes. alters your lifestyle. It alters uh-huh. everything about you. Hallelujah. You yes, meet sir. God in that altar of prayer. People somewhere down the road will see their need for God. I've never I've never met a man that didn't need God. I met a lot of people Amen. that didn't want him. Uh-huh. But I never Amen. met a man that didn't need him. We all Hallelujah. need God. And somewhere in your lifetime, if that uh-huh. seed is planted when they're young, they may err. Somewhere down that road, they're going to see, they're going to remember, they're going to be like the prodigal in the father's house. There is peace, there is love, there's joy, there's forgiveness, there's mercy. And there is the, great promise, the great promise of eternal life. And they will return. They will be returned by the hope and the grace of God. Amen. 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 Just like okay, the prodigal son. Amen. A lot of our problems, a lot of our problems could be fixed. A lot of our problems could be fixed if people return to church, and respect the church, and uh-huh. respect the saints of God, especially the older uh-huh. saints of God that have wisdom. Uh-huh. Uh, don't cast them away. They are the will. Uh-huh. They're the strength. They're the of the earth. Amen. And amen. Um, looking at the girl right now, Pastor Ashley, now it, we're going up to 89.5 percent. United States. Okay, so, sir, uh, I have a question for you guys. Okay, so during Halloween Day, right? Just because we're Christians, we celebrate it. What what happened 
if, a, if some children knock on your door, but you don't celebrate because, you know, sometimes it was very mean and you feel bad about yourself if you close the door in front of them or close your gate. So what what is the what what would you do if you come and knock on your door? Do you close your do you close your door knowing that you don't celebrate Halloween or you just open the door and 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 give them some candy? So that's that's that I just want to ask that what 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 do you usually do? Um uh as, uh Angelus Dolores. This band is Jacqueline saying. Uh-huh. I, I would speak to. If you don't mind, what I would normally do, if we're not participating, I would just normally back in the old days, they would just cut your porch light out. That would let people to know not to knock on your door. You know, mm-hmm. you're not participating. Or, you know, you can open up the door and let them mm-hmm. know that you don't have any candy or no treats and peace and blessings and light and love and keep it moving. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. How, how about you, Lawrence? Evangelist Lawrence. I don't. I don't usually, I'm working late on on Halloween, and I'm usually not. I don't. If I'm home, I don't open the door. I just don't. I have. I'm usually in the back in the bed, and the light is turned out, so I don't mm-hmm. even get up to go to. <laughs> how about you, uh, Sister Mary Lou? You're breaking up. You're breaking up. You're breaking up. We cannot hear you. I'm here. Yeah, we cannot hear you. No, we cannot hear you. Can you hear me now? Can you hear her, guys? Can you hear her? Yeah, I can hear her. I can barely hear Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Jesus came to seek and save that which was lost. I consider this an opportunity to share the gospel to the children and put it in their basket. And uh-huh. I give them the trust in some Bible verses. And sometimes I buy Bibles and I give it away to children. I mean, do they, do they, do, are they really so accepted without the candy? Sometimes they can't candy. You know, but they want the candy all the time, you know? So, um... um I don't know how 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 is the first thing to do. How about, let me ask Pastor Sen. What do you usually do, sir, during Halloween Halloween night, Halloween day? Will you open the door for the kids? You give up something well, we or don't, just yeah. open. Well, we don't we don't have the problem that most of you have. We live in a rural area, so uh-huh. we get very few, we get very few of that. But we generally turn the leave the lights off. And let them know uh-huh. ahead of time. But let me say this about uh-huh. that, uh-huh. how we treat people. Uh, the same thing is true in the church. Uh, people come now, they want to be treated. Everybody wants to uh-huh. be treated, and everybody's afraid that you'll offend. You notice the question was asked about let's not offend. How do we keep from offending people? Uh, yes. That's, that's the problem in most churches now. They're afraid of offending people. If they uh-huh. come to church, they come to hear the word of God. They don't come to be treated like fed candy. They're, they've come for the meat of God's word. And Amen. we're not going to offend them. Because the vast majority of people that come, they are there for the word. Feed the sheep. Uh, just like when they come to the door, knock on the door. You, had a light on, you invited them in. You put a on, out on your front porch. They know that you celebrate it. But mm-hmm. what would be wrong with a sign out, some kind of sign says we don't celebrate Halloween mm-hmm. or we're Christian mm-hmm. or something of that nature. Right. That way you don't, you don't have that problem. And mm-hmm. I speak this to all of us. Mm-hmm. Let's don't be as concerned about offending people as we mm-hmm. are about loving people. Just love people. Mm-hmm. Be mm-hmm. kind to them. Mm-hmm. Speak in a very kind manner. And just listen to you don't celebrate Amen. 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 Because as okay. my grandparents say, good manners will carry you a long way, even when you don't good have a penny right. in your pocket. <laughs> right. So, you was, uh, I just agree raised, with what the Catholic is saying. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and about that offended. So many mm-hmm. people yeah. is so concerned about people's feelings or their emotions. Mm-hmm. Look, mm-hmm. Uh, instead of God's truth, because God didn't oh. say our feelings 
what set us free or our emotions. He yeah. had yeah. his truth. His truth yes, set man. us free. Free yeah. indeed. The truth still so set you when free, we yes. speak God's truth, when we speak yeah, he his truth, he didn't yeah. say that his truth would not hurt us. And uh-huh. it's enough, then that's where the healing begins. Because when, yes. once again, when you know better, you'll do better. <laughs> Amen. I'm there. Yes, Amen. yes, yes. 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 <laughs> okay, I, I, I have a question from West Virginia. He said, his name is Luis. He said, there's no scripture in the Bible that we should not celebrate Halloween. Bring it on and open your Bible and show me. Bring it on and sh- open your Bible and show me. <laughs> Okay, Pastor. Abstain, abstain oh, from that's... every appearance of evil. Abstain for every appearance of evil. God yes, forbid that I should glory in anything pray. except the cross of Christ. Go Pastor, ahead. I'm sorry. Pastor, <laughs> he, 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 he's asking that there's no scripture. Can you quote the scripture to him? Because I know he's listening. West Virginia, his name is Lewis. Abstain from every appearance of evil. Yes. Yeah. Where is the scripture, yeah. Pastor? Okay. Well, I have to look it up. <laughs> yeah, yes, you're looking up. Yes, 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 yes. 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 <laughs> tell him, tell him, no offense, but tell him to look it up. Because yeah, God said, let every man there. read and get their own understanding. So if we don't know which script it is in, tell him to Google it. Or no offense, <laughs> not be read a subject. And then read it for yourself, young man. And get that <laughs> own understanding because God is not a God to lie. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. Thank amen. So, okay. So he says, yeah. So Tell did God, you find this scripture or something? So, Romans, at least he knows it. Tell him to go to Romans, Romans the fourteenth, the fourteenth uh, chapter, the first and uh-huh. the ninth verse, and start reading there first. Uh huh. There's a scripture there that he can read. Uh-huh. Romans fourteen, yeah. chapter one through nine. Uh huh. Praise God. God. We did. <laughs> Right. Give that to him so he can hear it. He's, he's from. Uh, he said that there's no scripture in the Bible that we should not celebrate Halloween. Bring it on and open the Bible. That's what he said. Okay, go ahead. Anyone? Anyone? I'm still waiting this here. Just <laughs> put up. I, 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 it up. I can't say which scripture chapter it's in. So therefore, that's why I said. For, but, but if someone got it, then therefore I would read it, read the word for him. But, you yeah. know, to make okay. sure you uh, read, hopefully receive read. it. Sister yeah, read. Jackie, read, mm-hmm. Romans, yes. read Romans the 14th chapter, 1 through 8. Okay, God, one, go to, to the night God. verse also. Okay, Jesus, y'all. Bear with me. Let me uh, turn to the word. <laughs> Google it. Oh my God. Does, like he, does Google. he want the word? Does he want the scripture where it speaks specifically about Halloween? Or does he want a scripture that speaks about uh, saying anything other than, oh, foolish Galatians, who have bewitched you that you should not obey the truth. That's okay, Galatians me... chapter 3. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. go ahead. Uh, um, now, uh, this is what he said, Pastor, West Virginia Lewis. There's no scripture in the Bible that should that we should not celebrate Halloween. Bring it on and open your Bible and show me. Okay. Okay. okay so, so, uh, the Lord, you tell me go to Romans, what chapter? Romans, I think 14, you said, chapter, 14. Okay, 14, 14 chapter 1 through 9. Okay, here we go, Lord. And now, and now you know what? He, he's expecting right now. He's he's laughing. He's saying LOL. So none of you know where the scripture in well, the Bible. He wrote it down here well, now. LOL, so none of you know where the or the or the verse, but it's not saying that they don't know the word of God. That word is is is, is written in their heart. Sometimes they might can't, like myself, and ain't no shame because I am who God say I am. I know the word and live according to it. But sometimes, like right then, I might can't tell you uh, John three sixteen for God to love the world or, or okay. go to Romans. You know, what I, 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 I understand but, that yes. Evangelist ja- uh, Jacqueline. Let's let's <laughs> let's put it this way because. He interrupt right now. He's saying L O L. None of you know those words in the Bible. Yes, yes, Pastor. Can I say something? Yes, Pastor. When Jesus, when Jesus, when Jesus spoke the word, did he tell him where it was at, or did he say it is written? It he is said it written. is written. Hallelujah. Uh, and Hallelujah. And glory and be to God. And 
and ill is what is written, and he'll get his Bible out, and he'll search it for himself. Because yes. it is written to abstain Hallelujah. from anything okay. that is evil. And David yes. said in another place, did not Jesus uh-huh. teach this place when he gave uh-huh. scripture? It is written in another place, I set before me nothing evil. To to uh-huh. introduce yourself to evil, to partake of something that's evil, the uh-huh. enemy is going to convince you that it's just it's fun and games. Did he not? Uh-huh. How did he speak to Eve in the garden? He was very deceptive. Yes. He, he, yes. He, he, he asked me. He created, that's, that's all this question is, is to create doubt in our mind. Yes. There's no doubt in my mind that Halloween Amen. is not of God. God. It is yeah, not hallelujah. of God. It is yeah. darkness. There's if no doubt trouble, in my mind. Yeah, if, he's having trouble, if he's having okay, trouble, or he's having trouble. Yeah, that's they, that's they, words it, it's it's let's, let's let's listen, Pastor. Amen. Uh, Hallelujah, Pastor sister. I think Pastor is talking right, Pastor. It is, it, Pastor. It, is it is written. Mm-hmm. It is written. That's the way Jesus even answered Satan. He didn't say it's in or He didn't say it's in exactly. he Hallelujah. It's in Praise God. He Praise simply God. said. He simply said it is written. Okay. I, I perceive this question. Yes. I perceive this question is an unlearned question. We yes. to Amen. we are to avoid. We are to avoid foolish and unlearned questions. Ignorant. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. I touch and agree. Ignorant, <laughs> carnal minded, and yes. foolishness. Because when God said, "When well, we know what okay. we know." Can't nobody yes. tell us different. That, yes. It is written. Mm-hmm. Now, when yes. you take mm-hmm. to the chapter or the verse or not, you, you find it for yourself and get your understanding. Yes. <laughs> Don't be deceived yes. by the devil. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me remind you that it's a public uh, show. So, oh, not only Christians are coming in. The, it's a world. The, it's a whole world. Let me just stop to Louis. Louis, 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 22, Pastor already said, already said. 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 22, abstain from all appearances of the evil. The evil. So appearances of the evil yeah, is Halloween. So that's the scripture. That's the scripture that I know, Louis. 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 22, so put and, it in your head. And chapter 14, Romans chapter uh-huh. 14, she says, read as 9, verse 9 uh-huh. reads, for to this end, Christ mm-hmm. both died and rose and right. revived that he might be Lord, both of the right. dead and living. Mm-hmm. And then yes. verse 10 reads, but why does thou judge thy brother? Or why does thou set at naught thy brother? For we mm-hmm. shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And if mm-hmm. you want me to continue reading, 11 said, there we go, For uh, verse 11 in Romans, thank you, sister and brother. For it is written, as I Bro. live, said the mm-hmm. Lord, every knee shall bow to me, yes. and every tongue mm-hmm. shall confess to yes. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> so then yes. every one of us shall yes. give account of himself mm-hmm. to God. Let us Amen. not, therefore, judge one another according. Amen. 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 Let us judge this. Let us judge yes. this. Yes. Righteousness yes. has been imputed. He gave mm-hmm. it to us. Amen. Those of us who believe, Amen. those of us mm-hmm. believe and have right believing, we believe the word of God. Mm-hmm. Therefore, the righteousness of God has been imputed. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't we continue in it? And is there room or is there place in a room uh-huh. for anything that's unrighteous? It shouldn't be. This, yeah, this, man. Right. Right. this is not a part okay. of a, a just man. Okay. The just shall live by faith. This is not a Amen. part of a just yes. man's lifestyle. Yes. It has no <laughs> okay. I may not be able to answer. I may not be able to uh, to uh, to to read all these things on the screen, but I am picking up what I like to share with you. Is this from Mexico? Her his name is Domingo, Mexico. He said, "My business make good money during Halloween, but I am a Christian. Shall, shall I shall I continue to make the image of demons during a mascara 
during Halloween because it, may, it gives me good money. But but it, it does it affect me with my relationship with Jesus? Pastor Owen, okay, uh, Pastor Owen, uh, uh, answer the question from Mexico. Mexico in the sure. house. Hello, Mexico. Mexico uh, has been in there. He makes money during Halloween. He makes mascara. He makes he makes ugly faces with demons. Uh, shall I continue to do it because I make money, or it will affect my relationship with Jesus? What shall I do? Great question. Great yes, question. Pastor. Amen. Yes, and question. the answer the answer is simple. I didn't mm-hmm. say it's easy. Sometimes mm-hmm. we Amen. confuse simple with easy. Uh, when you when you've taken a step toward heaven. And you're on a journey, and mm-hmm. you've taken a step toward heaven. You must lay aside every weight and descend what does so easily beset you, and run mm-hmm. this race with patience. That is set before you're going somewhere, and you don't, mm-hmm. you do not, you do not need to allow things of this nature to trip you mm-hmm. up. If you mm-hmm. the source of your income is cut off by something mm-hmm. of something that doesn't belong in your life, God mm-hmm. will open a new source of income. Hallelujah. He will, Hallelujah. He will lead yeah. you. He's your provider. He's not only yeah. your savior, but he's your provider. He's your healer. He's your provider. He's whatever you have need of. And he will supply all your needs. All your needs. You to to God. It is written. It, it is, is written. And we stand on Hallelujah. that. It's established. Mm-hmm. It's established mm-hmm. in heaven. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It's simple. It's fairly simple. Most of the gospel is fairly simple. But I mm-hmm. didn't say that it was easy. We live by Amen. faith. We've got to mm-hmm. trust the Lord. We've got mm-hmm. to trust the Lord with all our heart, all our mind, and all our soul. I'll pray mm-hmm. for you Amen. right now, Father, in the name yes. of Jesus. Yes, Jesus' help name. So help this, yes. help this man. Help yes. him the come to his Jesus. rescue, yes. deliver him from this thing that worries yes. him and causes yes. him doubt yes. in his life. Free yes. him from this thing and bless him all the days of his yes. life and Hallelujah. let him be the hand Hallelujah. of God in his life. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Okay, amen. Uh, this next question right here from Iceland. Iceland in the house. Iceland. Where's Iceland? Okay. Um, her name or his name is Levy. But Halloween came from America. America, we just follow your lead. What wrong with your people? <laughs> oh my God! Well, Halloween, yeah. Halloween. Yeah. I didn't mean to say it. He said that he. He said that we. He said they just following our lead. It came from America. But it's Mister Mary Lou. America. Mister Mary Lou. Trick. Trick the enemy. Tell him don't believe everything. Look, he hears. That's good. That's good. That's good. Interact with her. Interact. Sister Mary Lou. Are you there? Didn't Adam? Didn't Adam say Eve made me do it? Amen. Hallelujah. Trick the enemy. It looks okay. good. It sounds yeah. good, but it yeah. ain't good. Don't so buy it. Yeah. They said that we just see your lead. So, Evangelist um, Valores, what would you say? Oh, my God. I was agreeing with the uh, with, uh, Sister mm-hmm. Jack and Pastor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Took uh-huh. out the enemy. Mm-hmm. Don't believe everything you hear. Bless mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Uh, um, Sister Marilou, what, what, what can you say? Are you still there? Sister Marilou. Are you still there? I think he, he she got dropped. Okay, what can you say about it, Pastor? About what, what Levy said on Iceland? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm here, Mary Lou. Are you still there? Yes. I, I didn't hear you. Yeah, from Iceland. Yeah. Listen to listen to me. It's from Iceland. Go ahead. Bless him, God. All right. Can you repeat the question again, please? From Iceland, he said that Halloween came from America, so we just follow your lips. What's wrong with you people? Oh, no, no, no. It originated in the Middle Ages. It actually originated in the 17th century. 17th century, okay? That, that, it's a pagan holiday. That's how it originated. It did not originate I, here in America. But I think we know she, the author of death is mm-hmm. Satan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I think I'm, I'm going to say... I think what 
fortunate is we celebrate we celebrate Halloween much more than anyone else. That's what she meant. I think that's what she meant. So we just follow your leads. That's what she said. So, um, Pastor Pastor o, Pastor Owen, uh, Pastor, Pastor of the stands, can you can you say about that, sir? Um, yes. Yes, as sir. far as as far as the, as far as the brother is concerned in Iceland. Uh, he may perceive that it originated here. That's well mm-hmm. and good, but mm-hmm. the origin <laughs> of it came mm-hmm. from me. It is. It is not of God. That's the most important thing. Mm-hmm. We must. We must. Hallelujah. We must learn. We must, especially in this end time hour, we mm-hmm. must be able to discern to rightly divide the Word of God and to discern what is of God because we're living in a very deceptive time, a very deceptive time. And Halloween does not glorify God. It does not glorify God. It has nothing to do with Scripture. It has nothing to do with the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. It's a very unholy thing. Uh, There's no way around it. There's no way that we should celebrate it. We should uh-huh. distance ourselves from it. Now, we don't have uh-huh. to be ugly about it. Uh, like uh-huh. the sister said, like her mama told her, my mama taught me to have good manners. We can have good manners about ourselves. We can conduct uh-huh. ourselves in a very loving and kind manner and still stand. Amen. Hallelujah. Stand Amen. firm on the word of God. Amen. 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 I believe, okay, I, I, have, I, I, I won't be yeah. able to answer, uh, answer these questions all the I got like four, ten, ten more uh, something on the screen, but I'm thinking of what I like over here from Bangladesh. Ba- Hello, Bangladesh. Bangladesh is on the house on Baby Sub Show. Hey. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bangladesh, uh, her name is Jibe, or his, his name is Jibe. He said that Halloween is paganism, so is Christmas. It's paganism. An interaction with that. So Mary, okay. He said that how is paganism? So is Christmas paganism. Uh, Sister Dolores, that you, Dolores? Say, say that again. I, I don't understand the question. Um, he's from Bangladesh. Uh, his name or her name is Jai. Uh, he said that Halloween is pagan. So was Christmas is pagan too. <laughs> No, it's so quiet here. Can I say something? Can I say something? Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead, Pastor. Let me me say something to the person that's asked the question and made a statement at the same time. In Mm -hmm. your eyes, Christmas may be pagan. Because Mm -hmm. you you may look at the history of it or the origin of it. Or you may mm-hmm. look at this, or you may look at that, but I'll speak to you as a pastor. Mm-hmm. It is a, it is a gospel truth that Jesus was born of a virgin birth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Praise God! That is gospel Lord. truth. Mm-hmm. I understand about the Christmas tree. I know where you get the Jesus. I understand where you get mm-hmm. the scripture of Jeremiah. I understand how some people perceive it, and they they call it Xmas. And it's, it's exactly. they blow it in proportion. But there are mm-hmm. some people who perceive the virgin birth of Jesus Christ is gospel truth. And I'll say this mm-hmm. as a pastor. I'll say this as a pastor. It mm-hmm. is it is a time it is a time when people come to church like a normal mm-hmm. time. People will come to church mm-hmm. around Christmas or they'll come to church uh uh a different celebration, mm-hmm. religious celebration. Halloween yes. is a religious celebration, but it's not Christmas. Mm-hmm. It, mm-hmm. And it is not a Christian celebration. The subject mm-hmm. is Halloween. I understand okay. how you perceive it, Christmas. But, but I'll, leave you, I'll leave you with this. I wear mm-hmm. a size 10 socks, and I love it when people <laughs> buy me socks. <laughs> it is not a sin, not, not a sin for God. somebody to give you a pair of socks around a real big thing. Can you say that? Can you say that? 
Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Um, any addition, uh, Sister Mary Lou? Any addition? We're running out of time. We've got like 15 minutes left, guys. Uh, Sister Mary Lou, any addition? You're gone? Uh, Sister Dolores, any addition? I was going to say the same thing that he was saying, you know, the different in we, we celebrating dead people. They, on Halloween, you celebrate dead people. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. At Christmas time, we celebrate somebody that, uh, uh, the birth of oh, that, someone yes. that died for us. Oh, Lord, and not gave us right. He was an angel. Mm-hmm. He was an angel. Celebrate celebrate at Christmas. <laughs> at, yeah. at Christmas time, yeah. they come, yes. bearing, they come bearing gifts. Amen. And, and, no. and when Jesus died, I consider that was a gift for me. Amen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, so I, I, we move on. It's Singapore. Hello, Singapore. <laughs> Hallelujah, Singapore. Okay. Uh, his name is Bingo. He said, I am a Christian. I celebrate Halloween with my dogs. I dress them up in a costume. What's wrong with that? They dogs. I'm not the one celebrating. It's for my dog. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> well, well, no offense, but tell him he's the owner of that dog. So, he is. Yes. You know? right. he, he said that he's a Christian to celebrate Halloween. Go ahead. Yes, I'm okay. so, so now, Sister, mm-hmm. if he's the owner of the dog, therefore, however, he's making the choices and decisions for the dog. Right. right? Where they're concerned right. that they wear these costumes. Blood so blood. it's just yeah. it's just uh my <laughs> my, you know, opinion, whatever you want to call it. So yes. if you're a Christian and you don't believe in celebrating Halloween, if that's what you're saying, I'm mm-hmm. not sure if I heard this mm-hmm. right. Well, however, and you dress your dogs up in costumes mm-hmm. Especially if they scary costumes or whatever, I can see the two food or something. But uh, then therefore, you're, you're in control of what the dogs do because you're their owner and you're making, you know, you yes. have the power and authority of them. Mm-hmm. So you, it's gonna, you're gonna be accountable. You better choose wisely. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, I about you, Evangelist. <laughs> Evangelist B, what, what, what dog, can you say about that? The dog couldn't B. make the decision to go out and buy a costume, and he couldn't. Put, the dog <laughs> can't put the costume on. Oh, so he said, "Amen." Just say, "Amen." Oh, Jesus. <laughs> but, and this is that we're not trying to be rude or ugly or, yes. or hurt anybody, offend mm-hmm. them. But guess what? Yes. The booty butt neck the truth. God's truth. It is written. And so that's all. That's all, folks. Either you accept it or you don't, okay? <laughs> How does that look like it's putting up a mascara or something like that? I can't I cannot imagine that. My goodness. I, oh God. Oh God, you can go doing how we now, goodness sake. Uh that's I haven't heard it all. Pastor Spence, what do you say about that, sir? We have like we're running out of time. We have a couple of minutes left. <laughs> Pastor Spence. Pastor. Well, mm-hmm. I, I hear you. <laughs> but that last question <laughs> got me <got, got> <laughs> Oh, but God. <laughs> but. Oh my God. But I, I, I'd like to say this. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need discernment in the church, and we need mm-hmm. wisdom. Discernment oh, and wisdom. Uh, we're Amen. living in a time when people say, you said, the, the most uh, popular scripture in the Bible was John 3.16, for God so loved the world. But mm-hmm. now the most popular scripture in the Bible is judge not. And mm-hmm. there's Amen. a difference between making a judgment and using discernment. When mm-hmm. you discern Amen. a thing, it is what it is. When you discern Amen. it, you have no opinion. Your opinion Amen. does not... Amen. There's no opinion. Amen. You don't form an opinion. It mm-hmm. is Amen. what it is. And you Amen. compare it with truth. And Amen. you don't have to condemn people. You don't have to damn and condemn people. Know. We're here to help them be saved and encourage mm-hmm. them. And to go back to what we were talking about earlier, how to raise children, mm-hmm. raise them according to the Word of God. Uh, you Hallelujah. can use somebody's opinion all you want to. According to the word of God, we teach him respect. We teach him that the Holy Ghost is holy. Uh 
The Holy yes. Hallelujah. Holy. There are spirits all in the world. Amen. They're everywhere. This yes. world is full of ungodliness. Amen. Let us Amen. separate ourselves from that, that part. and mm-hmm. let us commit ourselves to the ways of God and walk Hallelujah. therein. Because he Amen. gave his life for us. We live for him because he died for us. I love Amen. you. I appreciate you. It's been an honor. It's been an honor to Amen. spend this time with y'all. Yes. And I hope that I've been a blessing to you. Surely you've been a blessing yes, to me. We love and, and we appreciate you. Pastor, do you Pastor, do you still have a couple of minutes? Because I have two questions that I want to read, uh, and the rest of it, I'll just answer them through texting here. It said that I, okay. I am a, I came from, I am from Pentecostal Church. Uh, her name is Rubada, Zimbabwe, uh, from Zimbabwe, okay, Africa. Yes. She said, I am a Pentecostal uh, Church uh, members. Uh, how about uh, reading candies with Bible verses during Halloween? Is that celebrating Halloween? or not. I didn't understand. I'm sorry. I, you, you cut out just a little bit. Could you repeat that? I'm yeah. sorry. He, he, she, he, he's from Zimbabwe. Uh, her name is Rubada. Sure. Yeah, she sure. said she's... She, I'm, I, I'm a Pentecostal member of the, of our church. Sure. How about giving candies with Bible verses during Halloween? Is that celebrating Halloween or not? If I give... If, as I make candies and putting Bible verses. Uh, no, that's not celebrating Halloween. To celebrate Halloween, you got to celebrate Halloween. It, it, mm-hmm, it, exactly. it doesn't matter when you make candy. You make candy and you give Bible verses, you're not celebrating Halloween. Amen. Don't mean, celebrate it, Halloween. That, that's, like that, yes. that's my perception. That's my perception. And sister, the sister, I think her name was Mary, I may be wrong, mm-hmm. who said it's it's uh, she gave tracks. Tre- uh, treat and tracks. I forget just how she said it. Mary yeah, Lou. Sister yes. Mary Lou. She's not celebrating it. You're not celebrating it. Now, if you go out and put a costume on or, mm-hmm. or you pretend to be a devil, you're exactly. celebrating Halloween because that's that's how you celebrate Halloween. That's just like being a Christian. If you don't live a Christian mm-hmm. life, you're not a Christian. I mm-hmm. mean, that's... Man. That, I mean, it is what it is. Goes back, that goes back to spiritual discernment. It is uh-huh. what it exactly. is without me yeah. having an opinion about anybody. I don't have to form an opinion. Mm-hmm. It yeah. is what it is. It so, is what it is. It is written. Yeah. Oh, you've been a blessing. Truly a blessing, Pastor. Amen. I truly enjoy it. Amen. Okay. Yeah. That's and the I sisters, just, I, I enjoyed everybody. Oh, yeah, man. I just want to this last one from Alabama. Uh, uh, his name is Jesse, or her name is Jesse. She, she said, with this call, I'm not letting any kids to come for trick-or-treating because of COVID. I want you guys to be careful out there and be safe for Halloween days. Uh, that's all he said. I, I, yes. With this call, okay. All right. Uh, the rest of you, I got like about uh, 10 questions here, but I'm not I'm not reading it. I'm not, we're running out of time. And I'm just going to through texting. I will answer you through texting over here. And uh, I would like to apologize for the interruption of the go world. Um, I want to thank Pastor uh, Oren Spence for coming over here. Thank you very much, sir, for your time and your effort to be here. Pastor Spence. I appreciate you. Thank you. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Be the glory. Hallelujah. And, and to stick to the point, we we celebrate Halloween. If you want to celebrate Halloween, celebrate it before Halloween or after Halloween so that people won't say to you that you celebrate Halloween. Yeah. So, um, Evangelist Jacqueline, anything for the last thing? Uh, let's go for uh, or, or even, Go ahead. Even if they were celebrating Halloween, Halloween, it's, it's like we said, uh, um, you know, passing out the Bible, scriptures, and uh, candy or right. whatever. They Halloween fall on Sunday. So if they in the house of the Lord passing out Bible verses and candy mm-hmm. and teaching the goodness of the Lord, then then it is written. That's so you're okay. You you're in the will yeah. of God. You're not outside the will of God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Evangelist any last word? No. I enjoyed everything tonight. I enjoyed the pastor, you and Sister Jackie and Sister Mary Lou. Thank you so much. 
Pastor, can you tell to the world where to follow you, how to follow you, where you're located, anything that you want to tell to the to the to the audience, where to follow you? Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, Pastor, I, I just is it okay if I just introduce myself and give an address? How's that? Is that okay? It's up to you, Pastor. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. The, the world are listening to you. Okay. Well, I'm on Facebook. I'm on, I'm on Facebook. It's Oren, Oren Spence, O-R-E-N. And the church is New Bethel Full Gospel Church. And we're located uh, We're located at 11,100 Caesar Nikesh Road. That's mm-hmm. Picayune, that's the closest town, Picayune, Mississippi, 39466. Mm-hmm. Uh, write us, ask us questions. We're not, we're not in for this. We, we didn't get in this for any other reason than to go see Jesus. That's why we're in this, and that's why we've continued in this. You're living in a time, and I want, I want to close with this if you'll let me. Yes. Uh, we're living in a time. It's either the falling away or the catching away. I yes. want to be a part of the catching away. Uh, we want oh, yeah, to need the integrity yes. of the gospel. We're going to keep the integrity yes. of the gospel. Look it up, hold it on. In spite of what's going on around us, we're looking up. We've got a direction, and we've laid we've laid hold on eternal life. I love you. I appreciate you. I thank God for yes. you. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, Hallelujah. Okay, as I'm looking at the geography, Africa, South Africa, and North Africa. Ten percent listeners. Thank you. Hallelujah. In, in, in yeah. Indonesia, Saudi Arabia. Ten percent listening. Hallelujah. Dubai, Dubai, Singapore, Cambodia, and Malaysia, 15% listeners. Philippines, 25% listeners. Liberia, 1%. 1% Liberia. Uh, Germany, London, uh, Germany, London, 10%. Um, Canada, Canada, 25% listeners. Croatia, 3%. Croatia. Zimbabwe, Cameroon, Pakistan. 10% are listening. Australia, 25% are listening. USA, USA, 89.7% are listening. Hallelujah. I would, like, I would like to thank our sponsors for today. Sales Jewelry, you can get 30% off when you mention Baby Said Show. Thank you very much. Planet Fitness, you can enroll still for $10. Hallelujah. Oh, this zone where you can get your spare parts. Autism, thank you for sponsoring Baby Set. Wendy Sandiger, you can still have those chicken nuggets for 10, 10, uh, 10 for $1, something like that. Wendy Sandiger, ADT Security Alarm System, call 1-866-893-2141, 1-866-893-2141. They specialize in, in burglary and carbon monoxide detection. Beach Network, 1-866-642. One eight three nine one eight six 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 four two one eight three nine. Go to alwayssendflowers dot com one eight 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 seven two zero eight two two one. Go to alwayssendflowers dot com one eight 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 seven two zero eight two two one. Last but not the least, bring your life insurance. One five five nine eight three seven two four four one eight five five nine eight three seven two four four. Mention B as in Victor Y as in Peter Y as in Yo Yo P as in Peter five zero. Baby Step Show for 46 of yourself. DYP501 Baby Step. I'd like to thank Bell Castle. Bell Castle for giving a love gift for, for Baby Step Show. Thank you, Bell Castle. Uh, those who are, uh, who are my guests will get a free t shirt uh, courtesy of, 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 of Daniel Jackson. Uh, we're partners in business and uh, we'll get a, a t shirt, a Baby Step perfume, and a CD album of. Baby Seb, Grace and Worship. And, um, and still, I have the Miracle Band. It's still for sale. It's, 30, it's $37. It's $35. Free shipping. It, it is made from Israel. Grilling, baking, and, and all kinds of, all kind of uh, cooking. You, you can make it Miracle Band of Baby Seb. Uh, if you want to be sponsored mm-hmm. for the show, any contact or any kind of any questions, Write me to Baby Said Show, P.O. Box 40921, Bakersfield, California, 93384. Baby Said Show, P.O. Box 40921, Bakersfield, California, 93384. So 
here we go. And if you, I have still have my uh, my uh, my bouquet, my my uh, my uh, boutique shop. If you um, want anything there, I'm mostly like just giving it them away. Uh, I'll give like 50 percent discount out of that stuff. But the, uh, God bless you. Good night, America. Good morning, Asia. Good morning, uh, good morning, Africa. Good morning, London. Good morning, Europe. <laughs> Good night, America. Good good evening, United States. Thank you all for listening to Baby Sub Show. And here's Carmen. Remember, Halloween is not Christian to celebrate. And here's Carmen for yeah, yeah. I've been delivered. We are being delivered from the yeah. from the from the works of the enemy. Yeah. Yeah. Here's Carmen. Hello. tonight. 